who is leading in ongoing infrastructural projects between Egypt and Ethiopia. Welcome to today's video where we will be comparing the development efforts of Egypt and Ethiopia. Our focus will be on the ongoing and completed projects in both countries, and we will determine which country is making significant progress towards development. So, sit back, relax, and join me on this insightful journey. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay updated on our future videos. Let's dive in. Round 1. Let's look at a few ongoing or completed projects in Egypt. Number 7. The New Administrative Capital. Egypt is currently developing a new city called the New Administrative Capital. By 2025, it will replace Cairo as Egypt's capital. It is situated about 45 kilometers to the east of Cairo. There will be 6 million people living in the city, along with businesses, residences, and governmental buildings. The project, which is expected to cost $45 billion, will likely be finished in 2025. Number 6. The Red Sea Development Project. On Egypt's Red Sea coast, a tourism project called the Red Sea Development Project is being built. A variety of resorts, hotels, and other tourist attractions will be a part of the project. The project, which is expected to cost $50 billion, will likely be finished in 2023. Number 5. The Suez Canal Tunnel. A brand new tunnel is being constructed beneath the Suez Canal, called the Suez Canal Tunnel. The Sinai Peninsula will be connected to mainland Egypt by the tunnel, which will also shorten the distance between the two areas. There will be two lanes of traffic in each direction, and the tunnel will be 35 kilometers long. The Egyptian government is providing funding for the project, which should be finished in 2023. Number 4. The Cairo Metro Line 4. A new metro line is being constructed in Cairo, called the Line 4 of the Cairo Metro. The line will link the east and west sides of the city and aid in easing traffic congestion. There will be 18 stations along the 22-kilometer line. The Egyptian government is providing funding for the project, which should be finished in 2024. Number 3. The New Aswan Dam The New Aswan Dam is a new dam that is being built on the Nile River in Egypt. The dam will generate electricity, provide irrigation water, and help to control flooding. The dam will be 145 meters high and will have a reservoir that can hold 13 billion cubic meters of water. The project is being funded by the Egyptian government and the World Bank, and it is expected to be completed in 2025. Number 2. The New Administrative Capital International Airport A brand new airport is being constructed in Egypt's new administrative capital, called the New Administrative Capital International Airport. The airport, which can accommodate up to 100 million passengers annually, will be the biggest airport in Egypt. The Egyptian government is providing funding for the project, which should be finished in 2025. The airport will be a major hub for international travel, and it is expected to boost tourism and economic development in Egypt. The airport will be located in the new administrative capital, which is a new city that is being built east of Cairo. The new administrative capital is expected to become the new capital of Egypt by 2025. Number 1. The Red Sea Coast Development Project. The Red Sea Coast Development Project is a project to develop the Red Sea Coast of Egypt. The project will include the construction of new resorts, hotels, and other tourist facilities. The project is being funded by the Egyptian government and the private sector, and it is expected to be completed in 2025. The development of the coast is anticipated to increase tourism and economic growth in Egypt, as the Red Sea coast is a well-liked tourist destination. In the project, new resorts, hotels, and other tourist attractions will be built. Construction of new infrastructure, such as highways, airports, and railroads, will also be a part of the project. Round 2. Let's look at a few ongoing or completed projects in Ethiopia. Number 7. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. An Ethiopian hydroelectric dam on the Blue Nile River is called the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam GERD. It is the biggest hydroelectric dam in Africa, and it will produce 6,450 megawatts of electricity when fully operational. Egypt worries that the dam will reduce the amount of water available to it, which has made it controversial. The project is anticipated to cost $5.5 billion, and it will likely be finished in 2023. Number 6. The Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway The Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway is a railway line that connects the Ethiopian capital of Addis Ababa to the port city of Djibouti. 
The railway is 752 kilometers long, and it is the first electrified railway in Ethiopia. The cost of the project was $4.8 billion, and it was completed in 2018. Number 5. The Ethiopian Djibouti Friendship Bridge. The Ethiopian Djibouti Friendship Bridge is a bridge that connects Ethiopia and Djibouti across the Gulf of Tejura. The bridge is 2.4 kilometers long, and it is the first bridge to connect Ethiopia and Djibouti. The cost of the project was $1.2 billion, and it was completed in 2016. Number 4. The Ethiopian Railway Network. Ethiopia is building a network of railroads known as the Ethiopian Railway Network. The network will link the largest cities in the nation and support economic growth. The network will include both a new railway line connecting Addis Ababa to the port city of Berbera in Somalia and a new railway line connecting Addis Ababa to Djibouti. The Ethiopian and Chinese governments are funding the project, which is scheduled to be finished in 2030. Number 3. The Ethiopian Airlines Expansion Project The Ethiopian Airlines Expansion Project aims to increase the airline's network and fleet. The project will aid Ethiopian Airlines in growing into a significant international carrier. The project calls for the acquisition of brand new aircraft, the launch of brand new routes, and the development of brand new airport facilities. The International Finance Corporation and the Ethiopian government are providing funding for the project, which is scheduled to be finished in 2025. Number 2. The Ethiopian Light Rail Transit Project Building a light rail system in Addis Ababa is the goal of the Ethiopian Light Rail Transit Project. The system will assist in easing traffic congestion and enhancing the city's air quality. Two lines in the system will link the city's important neighborhoods. The Ethiopian and Chinese governments are funding the project, which is scheduled to be finished in 2023. Number 1. The Ethiopian Djibouti Friendship Bridge Over the Gulf of Tejura, a bridge known as the Ethiopian Djibouti Friendship Bridge connects the two countries. It is the first bridge to connect Ethiopia and Djibouti, and it is 2.4 kilometers long. The project, which is being funded by the governments of Djibouti and Ethiopia, is planned to be finished in 2023. The bridge will boost trade and economic cooperation between Ethiopia and Djibouti. The bridge will also make it easier for people to travel between the two countries. The bridge is a symbol of friendship between Ethiopia and Djibouti. So, which country is leading in ongoing infrastructural projects? It's hard to say for sure, as both Egypt and Ethiopia have a number of major projects underway. However, it is worth noting that Ethiopia has a number of large-scale projects that are nearing completion, such as the GERD and the Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway. Egypt, on the other hand, has a number of large-scale projects that are still in the early stages of development, such as the new administrative capital and the Red Sea Development Project. Ultimately, it will be up to the future to determine which country is leading in infrastructural development. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please like and subscribe to my channel. I will be uploading new videos about Africa every week.